Music Access What about taking off your earphones and listening to all the sounds around you? When you're alone, taking a walk in the park, walking to and from school, you probably like popping in your earphones and listening to music, right? It helps you pass time quickly and keeps you from feeling alone. So for these reasons, we always seem to have our earphones plugged in. But sometimes, instead of the music, it's really nice to listen to, to just ordinary sounds that we hear around us. The laughter of children, the sound of nature that feels like soft classical music. If you listen closely, the sounds around you will come flooding in the second you take your earphones out and really listen. La 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 la, what up guys? Our first song on Monday, June 2nd was Six String Soldier by Jill Brooks. Hello, MA family. Are you guys starting off your Monday strong? I talked about taking off your earphones and listening to the sounds around you for a change during the intro, but I think I forgot to mention something. No matter how much you want to listen to the sounds around you, make sure you don't take your earphones out while listening to music access for the next two hours. I'll be with you for the next two hours, so just wait until we're done, alright? For Monday's music access, we have our daily corners, Promise Aaron, where Aaron, I will keep you accountable on your promises and goals, as well as our fun music quiz, all about music quiz. We also have Becco of New East and Tasha of Scarf joining us in the studio today for Animal Kingdom in the second hour. I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this corner for a while. I hope you didn't forget how to participate. Here's how. It's time for us to talk about your friends, teachers, family members, schoolmates, etc. When you think about the people around you, what kind of animal comes to mind? Do your friends, you, family members, etc. have interesting animal nicknames? If you do, please tell us. You can write X is like blank animal because blank. And if you can add this X part to your messages as well, that'll be great. When I see my family, friends, or the people around me, they remind me of blank animal. The reason is because they sleep in blank position. And at the end of the corner, Becco, Tasha, and I will each choose a story that we like best. And we'll pose like that animal and send the picture to the person who wrote the message. For our Thursday corner all that star, we'll be talking about Imino and Kim Soo-yeon. You guys have to let us know why you like Imino or why you like Kim Soo-yeon. Let us know what you think is something that makes each star attractive. And remember to put like on the title of your messages. And of course, for Friday's corner, Aaron vs. Minyeon, this week's topic is... I think blank is a waste of money. I don't think blank is a waste of money, and the reason is... Here are some examples. I think eating expensive foods is a waste of money. It's because I eat an awful lot, so if I eat expensive foods, I could, I could end up spending my whole month's allowance. But I don't think buying makeup is a waste of money because I want to become a makeup artist one day. Or I think buying books is a waste of money. It's because I always fall asleep when I read books. But I don't think buying new cell phones is a waste of money. I love getting new electronics, and when a new model comes out, I want it so much, I even dream about it. You guys can send in your message like, messages like that. And here's our mini survey topic for this week. Who do you think will donate more, mo more to the needy, Aaron or Minyeon, and why? Let us know. You can leave your answers under Aaron vs. Minyeon on our message board. And we'll announce the messages on Friday during our segment together. Alright, we'll come right back after a song for message time. Here is Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. What up everyone? We just came back from listening to Problem by Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. Great song. And it's time to see what our MA family members are up to today with message time all right first we have joanna from the philippines and joanna wrote hi aroni how are you i missed your beautiful voice i love you aaron Opa. hello joanna from the philippines joanna i'm doing all right thank you very much for asking and yes you know um i'm glad you like my voice 
I hope you're tuning in right now, Joanna. I want to thank you for the love and support. And please tune in for the rest of our show and participate on our Monday Corner Animal Kingdom. Thank you for the message. Next, we have Guangmi from Thailand. And Guangmi wrote, Hello, bro. I miss you so much. I miss you every day. Brother, do you remember me? Ha ha ha. Today, I listen to you, bro. Hello, Guangmi from Thailand. What up, bro? Yes, um, I missed you as well, Guangmi. You know, um, of course, I remember you. It's been a while since you left us a message on our message board. I want to thank you for taking the time to tune in today and leaving us your message today. It means a lot to me. I hope you have an awesome day, Guangmi, and thank you for the love and, of course, support. Next, we have... We have Darcy Ann from the U.S. Darcy Ann wrote, I apologize, guys. Weird. Uh, hi, Aaron. My Undie Rose and I like to listen to your show when we can. Since I have more internet access like, than she does, I'm able to send her sound bits from the show. On Wednesday, the day of your birthday, we were both so glad to be able to listen to your show. We noticed that you are a funny guy. We had a lot of laughs. Thank you, Aaron. Darcy. Hello, Darcy from the U.S. and your Unni Rose. What up, Darcy and Rose? Yes, you guys like listening to my show whenever you guys can. I'm glad, you know, the show is fun for you guys and you guys enjoy it. Uh, but yes, uh, Wednesday last, I believe it was last, last Wednesday was my birthday. And, you know, um, I'm glad you guys listened to the show. And yes, you know, I get that a lot. Most people don't know I'm funny until they're with me and then they see I'm really funny. Uh, but yes, Darcy Ann. I'm glad, you know, I gave you a lot of laughs that day. I'm glad you enjoyed the program that day. And I want to thank you and, of course, Rose, for tuning in today. It means a lot to me, guys. Please tune in for the rest of our show. It's going to be a lot of laughs, you know, good times, fun. And, yes, Darcy and Rose, I hope you guys both have awesome, amazing days. Next, we have Tweedem from the Philippines. And Tweedem wrote, Hello, hello, DJ Aaron's in the house with Tweed here. It's my first time putting a comment down and requesting here. I wanted to say hi to all of New East members and to all the loves out there. Take care, guys. And to our loving, mischievous, and charming DJ Aaron. Keep up the good work and wish and I wish you a successful career. 사랑합니다, New East Fighting. 감사합니다. Alright. Tweedem from the Philippines. What up? Yes, DJ Aaron in the house right now. Yes, we're live on air right now. What up, guys? But, um... Yes, Tweedem, it's your first time leaving us a comment on our message board and requesting a song. Uh, Tweedem, I want to thank you for taking the time, of course, to leave us your message and, you know, um, for signing up on our message board and leaving us your love and support. It means a lot to me. I will definitely pass on your greetings to my other members and to the MA family. We all welcome you to the MA family, Tweedem, you know, um, I want to thank you for your love and support and your best of luck wishes. It means a lot to me. I hope you have an awesome day, and thank you for tuning in. Next, we have Tina Guet from Vietnam. Tina Guet wrote, Hello, Aaron. How are you doing today? I can't wait for Animal Kingdom. Have a good day, Aaron. Hello, Tina Guet from Vietnam. I'm doing all right today, Tina Guet. Thank you very much for asking. And yes, I can't wait for Animal Kingdom as well. Meet Tasha and Beko. Um, it should be a good time, guys. Tune in. Participate in our corner. Leave us your messages. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you have any questions, comments, or requests for Betco and Tasha, let us know, and I will make them to it during our, our during our corner. Uh, but yes, Tina Guet, I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for the message, and please tune in for the rest of our show. Alrighty, guys. Before we get into our Promise Aaron corner, let's listen to a song. Here is Hit Me by Dirty Loops. Cross your arse today and pinky swear with me on Promise Aaron. Do you have promises or goals that are difficult to keep or plans that you keep pushing off for later? What about letting music access DJ Aaron know so I can keep you accountable? You can tell me about your plans for the day, your appointments or goals, or you can also promise me that you'll fix a bad habit or even raise your grades. Whether it's a big goal or small goal, it doesn't matter. Just promise me so I can help you keep your promises. All you need to do is think of your promises and write them down on our message board with Promise Aaron in the title. DJ Aaron, I will check up on how you're doing every day. How with a pinky swear. 
All right, let's listen to our first promise. We have Pinja Kiro from Finland, and Pinja wrote, Hi, Aaron, I have a problem. I've been really mean to my friends. I'm from Finland, and we don't know how to show feelings here. Uh, my friends are really important to me, but I don't show it. So I promise to show my friends I care for them. Hello, Pinja Kiro from Finland. Yes, you have a problem. You've been really mean to your friends, and you know, um... You say Finland, uh, Finnish people don't really show their feelings to others, but, you know, um, I think Pinja, in front of your family and friends, I think, you know, you should show that you care about them and that you do love them because, you know, um, they love you and, you know, care about you just as much as you care about them. You know, let them know, you know, let them feel loved and, you know, show them that you care for them and that'll, you know, um, that'll only make your friendship even stronger. Uh, but don't be mean to your friends because, you know, family and friends are the only ones that will ever support you in this world. Uh, I'm just playing, but, um, yes, you know, definitely don't, um, be mean to your friends. You know, friends should be nice to each other, you know, support each other, love each other. So, Pinja, I expect you to cross your heart right now and pinky swear with me. You have to be nice to your friends and show them that you care for them no matter what. Next, we have Tweetem from the Philippines, and Tweetem wrote, Hello, DJ Aaron, I am Tweetem. I want to make a promise to myself, but I don't have the courage to do it. On SNS, it's not that I'm shy, but when I'm outside in the outside world, I get very shy and don't talk to other people. And I get bullied because of that. Please help me to garner up confidence and not be shy anymore. Thank you, DJ Aaron, Music Access, MA Listener from Philippines, Mahal Kita. Hello, Tweet, I'm from the Philippines. Yes, you want to make a promise to be more confident and be more outgoing, but you don't have the courage to do it. I think, Tweetem, you know, I think you should have more confidence in yourself, you know, um, having confidence in yourself is all that you can do, you know, um, and you've been bullied because you're very shy, you know, I don't think that's cool, you know, um, show these bullies what's up, you know, be confident, you know, step up to them, you know, um, but don't get in a fight, but, you know, step up to them and be like, hey, back off, you know, um, Show them what's up. Show them who's who. Uh, but tweet them. Definitely, I think you should um be more confident in yourself because, you know, I think self-confidence is very important to get by um certain situations in life. So tweet them. I wish you the best of luck. I hope I can give you the courage, and I hope our MA family can give you the courage. We're all ro rooting for you and cheering you on, tweet them. Don't be nervous. And I hope you have an awesome day, tweet them. Thank you for the message. And, of course, thank you for tuning in to Music Access today. Alrighty guys, cross your heart right now, and pinky swear, you have to keep your promise no matter what. Alright, Sweetum? Alright, why don't we listen to a song before we come back with more promises. Jalila from Tunisia requested, Story of My Life by One Direction. My life. What up guys, we just came back from listening to, Story of My Life by One Direction. Plans and goals that are just too hard to keep on your own. Let me know on Promise Aaron, and I will help you keep that promise. So cross your hearts today, and pinky swear with me on Promise Aaron. Next, we have Courtney from the U.S., and Courtney wrote, I am a full-time college student who is also studying Korean and Japanese outside of class, and finals are only four weeks away. Enough said on that. I'm also an ESL teacher. I help teach English to people who have native languages that are not English, so I work in classrooms, one-on-one, -on -one, and with groups. I prepare materials and plan individual lessons, as well as teach the material. I love tutoring and teaching in general. I volunteer once a week in a first grade class. Today we tried something new in a class I, I'm working in, and it was chaotic to say the least. I love it when you are so busy but you barely have time to think. It's such a rush and makes you feel alive. Anyway, with all that said, I promise to do whatever it takes to teach both in the U.S. and especially overseas. Hello, Courtney from the... The U.S. Yes, you seem like this, like, like the, like the, um, like the dream scholar, you know, um, full-time college student studying two languages outside of class. You're also teaching English, you know, tutoring people, and you're... And you're volunteering in a classroom um, once a week. And, you know, um, that's quite a lot on your plate, Courtney. And I commend you on, you know, having the courage and, you know, strength to get by all this. 
And, you know, um, I'm glad you enjoy it. You say it's, it's like a rush and it makes you feel alive. You know, I'm glad, you know, this, um, I guess, platter full of schedule, you know, makes you feel alive and stuff. Uh, but yes, your promise to me is that you will do whatever it takes to teach both in the U.S. and especially overseas. Courtney, you seem like, you know, quite the scholar. I'm sure you can do whatever you want if you put your mind to it. So, Courtney, I wish you the best of luck. Cross your heart right now and let's promise you have to do your best until your dream come true, no matter what. All right? Alrighty, guys. Is there a promise that you have to keep today? It could be a meeting with your friend or a goal that you want to meet this week. Let me know. You can leave your messages on Promise Aaron, and I will help you keep those promises. All you need to do is come visit us at www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us a message on our message board with the title Promise Aaron. Alright, we'll come right back after a song for All About Music Quiz. Melanie from Denmark requested Outlaws of Love by Adam Lambert. All about music and all about quizzes. A great collaboration of music and quizzes. All about music quiz. A quiz that progresses, receives praise, but a quiz that is always the same gets ignored. All about music quiz is, to say the least, the most progressive quiz you'll ever come across. Five different music quizzes from Monday through Friday. Get ready for the great music and have fun answering the quizzes. We even have a special gift for one lucky listener who sends in the correct answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Coldplay's album, Ghost Stories, provided to us by Warner Music. Alright, so for our first AA Music Quiz, the format for today is guessing the group. Once again, guessing the group is the format, and I'm going to tell you guys the title of three songs, the songs have one thing in common, it's a person. You just need to guess what that group is, so here are the song titles. And I would love to sing these for you, but I don't know any of the songs, so here we go. <laughs> Number one, Again and Again. Number two, Heartbeat. Number three, Hands Up. And our listeners like, Aaron, I don't understand, sing the song for us. I would like to sing it for you guys, but I don't know any of the songs, I apologize, so... Here we go once again, guys. I'm going to give you song titles, and you have to guess who the group is. Here we go. Number one, again and again. Number two, Harpy. Number three, Hands Up. If you know the group, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. We'll listen to a song and come back with the second in for AA Music Quiz. Nicole from Mexico requested... Black Tinkerbell by Chocola. What up everyone? We just came back from listening to Black Tinkerbell by Chocola. Shout out to Tia and Lori, by the way. What up guys? How are you? But yes, a collaboration between music and quizzes. All about music quiz. And today's double A music quiz format had to do with guessing the group. Well guys, here's a second in, and we'll let you listen to this group's songs for not five seconds, but a little longer to make it easier for you guys. And you just need to guess what that group is. You'll probably know as soon as you hear the song, so here it goes. Listen carefully. This is your last chance to get the answer correct. What up, guys? Alright, so that was your hint for today. And I don't know if that hint was easy, but I'm sure you guys know what the song is. So if you know the group that sings a song, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. If you think you know the answer, come to the MA message board at 
arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us your answer with the title answer. Our AA Music Quiz present is Coldplay's album, Ghost Stories, provided to us by Warner Music. All right, before moving on, let's listen to a song. Mariam from Tunisia requested Ilbun Man by Shiny. Just came back from listening to Ilbun Man by Shiny. And it is time for more massage time. Why don't we get straight into it? Next, we have Eileen from Chile. And Eileen wrote, Hi, Ern. Greetings from Chile. Adirang Radio is the best. How are you? I hope you're fine. When will newies come to Chile? Haha. <laughs> now I always listen to the radio because you're the best ever. Um, and I like your voice. It's so cute. Greetings also to all the other members of New East. I love them. New East is the best. Hugs. Bye. Hello, Eileen from Ch -ch -ch Chile. Yes, I'm glad you think Arirang Radio is the best. I want to thank you for your love and support of Arirang Radio. But Eileen, I'm doing all right. Thank you very much for asking. And yes, you know, New East, we would love, love, love to go back to South America, Latin America, and meet all of our fans out there. Uh, but yes, you know, I'm glad you think I'm the best DJ ever, and I'm glad you like my voice. I want to thank you for the love. And I will pass on your greetings to my other members as well. Eileen, I hope you have an awesome day, and thank you for tuning in, and thank you for the love. Next, we have Angelica Infante from the Philippines, and Angelica wrote, Hello, DJ Aaron. Can you please give a shout-out to me and my cousin Bea? I think it's Bea. We really support you in New East always. She just can't stop singing your rap heart and face, especially since I taught her. But remember to always take care, alright? I support you in music access, always. Hello, Angelica Infante from the Philippines. And yes, yeah, shout-outs to you and, of course, your cousin Bea. And I'm glad you guys are loves. You guys are big fans of New East. And she loves singing my rap part and face. That's pretty embarrassing for me, Angelica. But, um, yes, I want to thank you for, you know, um, your concern and stuff. Your, um, worrying about us. It means a lot to me, Angelica. I support you as well. I hope you have an awesome day. And please tune into Music Access whenever you can. And leave us your messages on our MA message board. Next, we have Victoria Montero from Chile, and Victoria Montero wrote, Hey, Aaron, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing good. I just started my vacation. Yay! I wanted to ask you something. Next week, I'm going with my family for the first time to LA, and I was wondering if you could give me some good suggestions of good places to visit and of good stories or cafes there. Love and hugs. Hello, Victoria Montero from Chile. Victoria, I'm doing all right. Thank you very much for asking. And yes, you just started vacation and you and your family are going to LA for a vacation. And you want me to give you some suggestions. I think, um, first off, visit like the Hollywood sign. Of course, visit Hollywood. Um, you can always go there. Cafes. Uh, there's a lot of good cafes. My friend actually owns a cafe on, um, if you're, if you're going to go to like the Korea, Koreatown part, uh, it's on 6th, and I think it's Walton. Um, I think I think those are the streets. It's, it was 6th, and I think it's Walton. And um, the cafe is called I Love Boba. It's like um, like a bubble tea boba shop. You should definitely go there. They have dope boba. Show them your love and support. And Victoria, there's like a lot of good stuff you can do in LA. You know, you can go hiking. Um, you can golf. Um, you can ice skate, bowl, whatever you want to do, Victoria. So I hope you and your family have fun out there in L.A. And Victoria, thank you for tuning in and thank you very much for the message. Next, we have Susanna from Singapore. Susanna wrote, Hey there, dear M.A. family. DJ Aaron, I just came in to give you a cheer for today's show. Monday's class starts earlier, so I'll be staying for half an hour or so. Make him smile as always. Love ya. Hello, Susanna from Singapore. Yes, you came by, drop by to give me a cheer for today's show. Thank you, of course, for your love and support. And yes, I hope you have a good time at class. I want to thank you for tuning in while you can. And I hope you have an awesome day, Susanna. Thank you for the love. And I hope you have an awesome day, like I just said. All right, guys, why don't we listen to a song before we move on? Salongo from Mongolia requested, Oh My God by Girls Day. What up, guys? We just came back from listening to Oh My God by Girls Day and Girls Day. 
I'm a big fan, by the way. But yes, it is already time to wrap up the first hour of our show for today, guys. In the second hour, like I just mentioned, we have Beko of New East and Tasha of Scarf joining us for Animal Kingdom. If you guys want to participate, leave us your messages under Animal Kingdom on our message board. And the link is at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. And if you have any comments, questions, or requests for Rebecca or Tasha, let us know, and I will make them do whatever you guys want them to do. Alrighty, guys, don't go away. We'll be right back after this song. Kwang Mi from Thailand requested Just a Dream by Nelly, and I'll see you guys in just a bit. Music Access. What up, everyone? Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. In the second hour of Music Access for today, we have New East Beko and Scarf's Tasha joining me in the studio. And you can write blank is like blank animal because blank. And what kind of animal you, your family members, friends, and the people around you look like when they eat. And when I see my family, friends, or the people around me, they remind me of blank animal. The reason is because they sleep in blank position. You guys can send us your messages like that. Or you can send us your messages according to what your friends and family look like when they eat. And we look forward to hearing from you guys. And just click www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave us a message on our MA message board. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.arirangradio.com slash music access. We are also on Terrestrial DMB and we've got FM stations on Jeju Island. They are 88.7 in Jeju. 88.1 in Sogipo, and 101.9 in Taejong. You can also download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. Alrighty guys, after a song, we'll come back with New East Beko and Scarf's Tasha for Animal Kingdom. Here is Move by Kim Yeonu featuring Park Kyung of Block B. <laughs> Listen up guys! Can you hear the music announcing the start of Animal Kingdom on Music Access? If you've been dozing off like a sloth, if you've been hotting cookies like a chipmunk, or if you've been playing around like puppies, pay attention! It's time for us to become animals! Rawr. Let's shout it out together! Animal Kingdom! Kingdom. <laughs> Hello, Beko and Tasha. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the studio. <laughs> and can you guys say hello to our MA family? Hey, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, uh, guys, it's been a week, mm-hmm. and it is already June. Can you guys believe it? Wow. wow. May, wait, so May fast. went by really fast, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. What did you do in May, Tasha? I'm um, just mostly <laughs> practicing, working out, nothing much. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Peko is in the fall of the year. So I asked somebody to make it as he played. All right, so mm. what is the first thought that comes to mind when you think of June? Summer. 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 Peko. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Summer? Summer. Mm. Oh, for me, I think of my sister's birthday. Oh, when, when is it? June 9th, oh. I think. Oh, you think? No, no, June 9th is right. June 9th is right. June 9th is right. <laughs> 저는 아. 6월 생각하면 네. 제 동생 동생. 생일. 아. 그 멤버 생일도 있잖아요. 그죠, 그죠, 그죠. Uh, we have our members' birthdays in uh, June. June as well. Mm-hmm. 누구지? JR인가? JR. JR, JR. Yeah. We have a member JR, his birthdays on mm. June 8th, I believe. 8th. I believe. 8th. 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 So I, all right, mm. don't tell, don't tell JR. All right, guys. Anyways, um, is there anything that you're looking forward to this month? Hmm, great weather. Well, well nothing. Nothing Summer, much. Yeah. Summer, great weather. Mm. Be cool. 없는데. 없는데. 칠월이 제일 기다려져요. 칠월. 왜요? 네, 제 생일. Ah, he says <laughs> nothing is looking forward to in June. He says July, and asked him mine. He says his birthday. 언제야? 어, 칠월 이십일일. Oh, so July twenty first. Interesting, mm. interesting, interesting. All right. Well, you know, um, I have something I'm looking forward to this month. We're actually, um, 
we're actually going uh, on a trip to Guam. So Guam, Guam. Where is it? It's like a little island. In it's, Korea, it's 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 part of the states, but like it's between uh. the states and Korea. It's like a little tropical island. Guam. Yeah. How do you spell that? G U A M. Oh. It's kind of like Hawaii, a little bit. Oh, okay. So it should be interesting. With your members? Yeah, with the members. Oh. Wow. But it's not, like, it's, not like, it's, not like a, it's not a vacation. We have to go for um, schedule, but oh. <laughs> it, it should be fun, though. Mm. It should be fun. Well, is there anything or any day that you just want to skip over this month? No, I mean, like, these few days, time passed really fast. Mm. So I don't want to just skip over any day or any anything. Really? I just want to just... You know, I want time to actually stop. Really? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Beko. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 저는 그냥 6월 스킵하고 스킵. <laughs> 어, 그냥 아. 바로 7월로. <laughs> <laughs> so you just skip June. Just skip and the go whole to path. July. Yeah, go to July, mm. straight to July. Interesting, interesting. All right. Well, you know, great radio DJs always make this kind of suggestion to their guests. We'll mm. do blank this month. Why don't we all set a goal for this month and give out a penalty for the person who does not fulfill Ooh. the goal? All right, so let's make goals mm. for this month. So, mm. Tasha or Beko, mm. well, first, Beko, what is your goal for this month? Oh, diet, diet. Oh, wow. 몇 킬로까지? 어, 몇 킬로까지라고 하면은 내 몸무게가 밝혀지니까. So I asked him, um, how how much do you want to lose? And he says, if I say that, everyone mm. will know how much I weigh right now. So he says, he's not gonna say it. 그냥 보기 좋을 때까지? 네, 그냥 딱 아, 잘생겼다 그렇게 될 때까지 아, so he says <laughs> um, Justin said everyone's like oh, he's good looking like until he becomes good looking What about you, Tasha? What's your goal for this month? Actually, I'm kind of same as Beko Really? Because summer, you know a lot of people wear like short shorts and stuff like that yeah. So I'm kind of actually working out a lot and going on a diet too Oh, mm. diet, okay Me? You? Me? I don't, I don't know what I want for this month My goal for this month is to meet my MA family every day. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. Which I do, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Anyways, um, for all of our MA family members, you guys have to remember our goals with us. All right? Mm-hmm. And keep us in check, just in case, you know, we go off track and stuff. All right, guys. So, it is time for Animal Kingdom today. Ooh. It's time for us to talk about your friends, teachers, family members, schoolmates, etc. Mm-hmm. And when you think about the people around you, what kind of animal comes to mind? Do your friends, family members, etc. have interesting and animal nicknames? If you do, please tell us. You can write XX is like blank animal because blank blank. And when I see my family, friends, or the people around me, they remind me of blank animal. And the reason is because they sleep in blank pose. And at the end of our corner, Beko, Tasha, and I will each choose the story that we like best. Mm-hmm. And we'll pose like that animal... And send the picture to the person who wrote the message. And we'll introduce your messages in just a bit. But before that, there's a mini corner and corner, right? Mm -hmm. It is... Tiger English! English. Wow! I can't wait for it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Tiger English is to sum it up in one sentence. Beko can speak English too. Mm -hmm. So actually, all the questions and the answers on Tiger English are from words and expressions that are used 100% in real life. So what kind of situation will Beko face today, and what should he say? So here's the situation, and there's one thing that I need to say before we start today. Mm -hmm. Our situation is a little more complex and fun starting today. And you guys are going to be able to see Tasha and my acting skills. (laughs) So I hope you guys look forward to today's Tiger English, and here is today's situation. It's a lazy afternoon with nothing on Beko's schedule. He dresses up and goes to a nearby cafe. He orders coffee and tries to take a sip when he hears the camera shutter sound. Looking around, Beko sees that a beautiful woman was trying to take his picture and she happened to be his ideal type of woman. Beko suppresses his anger and walks up to the woman. Excuse me. Yes, me? Yes, please don't take the picture secretly. I'll take the picture with you. Come here, let's say cheese. Excuse me, I think you're mistaken. I was taking a selfie. Who are you and why are you trying to take a picture with me? <laughs> OMG, what can Beko say to the woman in this situation? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, 
interesting situation. Oh. Oh. It's, it's interesting situation. Hey. Hey. It's very, very funny situation, guys. So, Beko, yeah. what would you say in this situation? Hey. Mm-hmm. I like you. <laughs> oh my gosh! He says, hey, he that says, is not bad. What's your phone number? <laughs> What's your phone number? <laughs> hey, I like you. What's your phone number? Oh my gosh. 그리고 어디서 배웠어요? 네? Where, where did you oh. learn? Aaron 형한테 배웠어요. 어. 네, 그래요. 이거 학교에서 가르쳐줬어요. 네. 학교에서 이런 거 가르쳐줘요? 네. She says you learned it at school. Oh. Interesting. 어떤 학교 다녔어요? 안 돼? 어떤 학교에서 배웠어요 이거? 어그 죄송합니다. <laughs> I said, what's what's cool did you be where did where did you learn this at? And he says, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well you know um, so he says, hey I like you. What's your phone number? Mm. Interesting, interesting. So you know um, I don't think there's any set answer you can say in this kind of situation. So why don't you say it in Korean and we'll translate it into English for you. So Beko, what 네. would you say in Korean in this situation? 어 한국말로 어떻게 바, 말할 것 같아요? 저 죄송한데요. 아, 어... 죄송한데요. I'm sorry. 네. 번호 좀 주시면 안 돼요. <웃음> can, you me... <웃음> can you give me your phone number? <웃음> so it's the same English. So it's not. It's not his English skills are bad. It's just he just thinks like that. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So um, Tasha, mm-hmm. do you think what Beko said earlier is something we can acknowledge as the correct answer? Well, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> because wait, 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 wait. well, I don't, th- I don't think the girl will give him his, give him her number. Really? Like, yeah, there's no reason for it. Uh, I guess. 여자가 앞으로 안줄것 같대요. 나도 안 받아. Hey, <laughs> so he's not gonna receive it. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. Well, you know, then today's Tiger English result is a fail. Dang. Beko <laughs> odap. <laughs> 오늘 <laughs> 축하해요 처음으로. 아니, 이거 되게 정답 아니에요? 아론 형이 만약에 평가를 했으면은 응. 맞는 거예요, 틀린 아, 거예요. 아, 맞는 거죠. 그죠? <laughs> <laughs> so the guys, if I was the one that was the judge, is it right or wrong? I was like, it's right. Of course, it's right. <laughs> Anyways, you know, um, I'm curious. Have you ever been in this kind of situation before, Tasha? Actually, no. I mean, this situation is kind of um special, I guess. Yeah, kind of a little special situation. Mm. Because I would not think that the guys will be taking picture of me and stuff like that, like secretly. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Beko는 이런 상황, 네, 예, 당해봤어요. 어, 저 말고 아론 형이 어? 약간 이거랑 비슷한 상황은 아닌데 아론 형이 이런 착각을 많이 해요. 그게 뭐냐면 아 그래요? 아, 그런가? 네. He says I get mistaken a lot. Like 그래. I mistake the situation 네. a lot. 아론 형이 이렇게 좀 상태가 안 좋을 때 음. 차에서 이렇게 내리려고 하는데 뭐 연습실 근처나 뭐 스케줄 하는 근처에. 네네. 뭐 사람이 서 있어요. 그냥 네. 그냥 지나가는 사람이. 음. 근데 아론이 어저 팬분들 팬분들 아니냐고. <웃음> <웃음> 아, 왜 그래 백호야. 아니라고. <웃음> <웃음> no, so you know, when we go to like the or um or practice place or like maybe or, like an office station. radio mm. station like and there's like a person standing outside because I don't I don't do makeup on when I go out um but I look at the person like is isn't that a fan? Like do I need to cover my face today? Like what should I do? Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, that's true. I'm not nice. I do do that. I did do that in a lot, actually. Mm. Um, there's also like the situations, not like mistaking a person taking a photo of me, but like mistaking a person for mm. someone else. Mm-hmm. Like when you see their back. <laughs> right, right, right. I do I that a lot, that. actually. It's really weird. <laughs> 그런 상황 있잖아요. 사람 잘못 보고 이렇게. 네. 어, 찌아라 이렇게 하고 찌아리 아닌데. 아, 어, 맞아요. 죄송합니다. 맞아요. 이런 거 있잖아요. <laughs> 맞아요. 그런 상황 되게 많이. Okay. 네. 네. So you know, there's a lot of those kind of situations where we mistake people, but. Yes, guys. Anyway, today's Tiger English was a fail. Uh-uh. So, be cool. 네. Next week. Talk to you next week. Ah, no, no, no. Next week, work a little harder, guys. All right. So, it's time for a song break before we come back with more of Animal Kingdom. Here is Love Virus by Scarf. What up, guys? Aaron of New East, Music Access. We just came back from listening to Love Virus by Scarf. <laughs> and you're listening to our Monday Corner Animal Kingdom with New East Beko and, of course, Scarf's Tasha. And while we are listening to a song, we've been getting a lot of nicknames from our listeners about their animal nicknames. So mm. let's check out those messages now. Yep. And Beko, you can read the name, and I guess I'll go first today because mm-hmm. the second one seems really long. Tasha, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I don't. Uh, wanna... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. 두 번째가 너무 길어서 네. 제가 먼저 갈게요. Yeah. <clears throat> right, Beko, can you read the name out for us? Carla mm. Alejandra Rojas, she from Chile. All right, mm. we have Carla Alejandra Rojas from Chile, and she wrote. A history teacher once told us, I shouldn't tell this, but I call my husband Australopithecus. 
early species who looked like monkeys. Mm-hmm. A pet name she used because of his hairy face. So every time he picks her up, classmates call him names. <gasps> we actually, he actually looks like a monkey man, but a really embarrassed one. Oh, mm. that's so sad. Australopithecus. Me too. It's that's my first time. It's the first time. It's the first time. Mm-hmm. First time hearing about that. Australopithecus. <laughs> Interesting. So he has a lot of uh, hair on his face. Facial hair. Facial hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Michael has some too. No, 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 no. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. All right, well, Carla, thank you for the message and thank you for thank participating. You. Next. Lorraine. Mm-hmm. Lorraine from US. Mm-hmm. And she wrote, My animal nickname in varsity softball in high school was Beast. Beast, all right. I'm not sure why I was called Beast, but one of my teammates called me that and ended up being my nickname for my four years in my four years of varsity softball. In my point of view, I think I was called Beast because my teammates saw me as one of the best softball players in the team. Yeah. Mm. I would die for the ball, get down and dirty on the field, catch everything that hits that get hits to me, and my hitting was good, I guess. I even get hurt by the ball and I would shake it off even though it was painful, which ends up becoming bruises. Mm. I don't think I was the best, but I just play hard and put lots of effort when I play. I also think that when I play, I give the serious face that kind of scares them, but it's just me focusing on the game and practice. Well, the nickname eventually faded my senior year of high school because my new nickname became... Lorizzle. 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 <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess I'm cool like that. Oh, haha, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> There's more in the back. Mm-hmm. Cool fact I hit my first home run in my senior year of high school. Great way to end my softball career. Interesting. Mm. Beast. 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 <laughs> no, but um, where I'm from, like we, like if someone's really good at something, or like they're like mm-hmm. crazy good at, it, we're like, oh, that dude's beast. He's a beast. Like really into something. Like he's like he's like he's a wild animal. He's mm-hmm. crazy mm-hmm. at it. That's what we say. Back I... where wreck where I'm from. So mm-hmm. I think that might be where the beast came from. But yes, do you play any sports, Tasha? Well, I love badminton. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you, Do you play badminton? No. No. Badminton, Tai Chi, yeah. Oh, try here. Oh. <laughs> he says he likes it. He says he likes it. I love it. it. Oh, really? How about you guys? Um, I like golf, swimming, golf, basketball, mm. volleyball. Oh. oh, those are the first ones I like the best. What about you, Beko? Don Kondo. Kondo. He likes Kondo. What is Kondo? Kendo. Ah, Kendo. He he has. I think he's the, he's the highest degree. Like Kendo. Oh, really? Yeah. Could go body chin go anio. Everyone in the room can die, he says. All right. Interesting stuff. All right. Thank you, Lorraine, for the message and thank, thank you. you for participating. Next, Ruby from Taiwan. All right, Ruby from Taiwan wrote I want to introduce my friend Ryan. Mm. He has big eyes, and some people think he looks like an owl. Sometimes, Oh, he thinks like he oh he thinks he is like a frog because of his deep voice, mm. but I think he's a camel because he really has long natural eyelashes. Even girls would be jealous of them. Oh, how can guys have longer eyelashes than girls? I think Animal Kingdom is very interesting. Aaron, Beko, and Tasha fighting. Music access. Jang, jang, jang. jang. <laughs> Thank mm, you. That would be interesting. Interesting. I actually have long eyelashes myself. Yes, I can see that. I have very long eyelashes. 저도 이거 길거든요. 네. 음 속눈썹. Interesting. Interesting stuff. So her friend is a, an owl. An owl, frog. a frog, and a camel. Oh, uh-huh. okay. An owl, a frog, and a camel. That's interesting. Very. Mm. We, we actually have a camel in our team too. Our team has a doctor. Yeah, because there's a doctor. Minion. 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 <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next, let's move on. Oh, uh, Ashley mm-hmm. Hassan from US. Mm. Mm. First off, this is my first time listening to this station, and I will have to listen more often. I look like a squirrel, 
So my friends nicknamed me the Squirrely Magne. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. I got the nickname because I nibble on my food. I don't take huge bites or anything like that, and it takes me a lot longer to eat my food. Mm. Mm. I don't know why I do or even when I do it, it just happens. If you see how a squirrel eats nuts, they collect the... They collect it, they hold it with both of their hands, and my friends realized I do the same thing with apples and bread. Mm. I always hold them with both <clears throat> of my hands, and my friends witness me witness my nibbling one witness my nibbling one day a few weeks back, and now that name just sticks. Squirrel. Oh, Taramji. Squirrel. Interesting. I feel like the squirrel comes out a lot. It comes out every right, week. Right, right, right. 매주 네. 다람쥐 나오는 것 같아요. 그죠? 한 번씩 다 나오는 것 같아요. 네, 맞아요. 다람쥐. 음. 아예. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. That was, that was my squirrel sound, guys. <laughs> you should see his face, man. All right, guys. We apologize. Next, we have <clears throat> TJ mm-hmm. from Denmark, mm-hmm. and Giselle wrote a family member that reminds me of an animal. That must be my 10 months old younger sister who reminds me of a noisy monkey. Why, why, why monkey? Chikroonika. Ah, Kronga? It's because it's loud. And noisy. Oh, Aron Young, the monkey. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still going to be so. Apologize for my bad monkey uh, impersonation. But yes, uh, yes, younger kids can be a little loud. Um, I don't want to say annoying, but they can. Oh, Becko sneeze, guys! Bless you. Woo! Okay, 저도 생각 되게 많이 해봤어요. Oh, 진짜요? 이거 참으려고 했는데 못 참았어요. 괜찮아요. So Becko just sneeze, guys, on here. Yes, I'm not the only one anymore. All right, thank you, Giselle, for the message. Next, Haji from UK. Okay. My mom often says that my sister is like an elephant because an elephant never forgets things and neither does my sister. Mm. On the other hand, my mom always says that I'm like a goldfish because they have a short-term memory and like them, I forget a lot of things often. Mm. Mm. Goldfish. Do you forget things easily too? He says he has very good memory. Mm. How about you? I think I have good memory. Me too. <laughs> All in good memory. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a good memory. All right, mm-hmm. cool. Uh, but she says her mom thinks her sister is like an elephant because an mm. elephant never forgets anything. Interesting stuff. Cool. Goldfish. Goldfish. We have a goldfish on our team, actually. What? 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 Ren, Ren. <laughs> why, why, why? It's just, it's just, it's just kind of slow. Really slow? It's like you know, like this is this is a normal person's pace. His mm. pace is like. Oh really? A little slower mm. than other people's, <gasps> yeah. 좀좀 oh. 좀 느리죠? 좀 많이 많이 느리죠. So 많이 guys, 많이, 많이 네. 느리죠. When you guys yeah. dance together, does he like go off bit and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh really? 아무 연습할 때좀좀 많이 틀리죠? 그죠? 춤 박자도 늦어요. 박자도 늦고 동작 좀 다르고. Wow. So his like his dance was a little different. Like he's like mm. offbeat. <laughs> All right, guys, let's well, stop. It's <laughs> kind of bad there. Okay. Right. Thank you, Arch, for the message. Thank you. All right, guys, who do you think has the best animal nickname? Pick one person while we listen to a song, and let's take another break before we come back with more. Here is Becco's request song. Here is 사람 냄새 냄새. 사람 냄새. I apologize, guys. 사람 냄새 by Chongin and Getty.